So what are the differences between these centipedes? Uh, this is a Scolopendra alternans. It's a Haitian giant. And this is uh, allegedly Scolopendra polymorpha. It's a... Um, this one? Yeah, it's a d giant desert centipede or common desert centipede sometimes called. Um, this is a New Mexico variety, so it's a bit bigger than the average. As you can see, there's zero aggression between either centipede, which is a very strange uh, occurrence, I would say. Neither seems to attack either one. Um, I'm not going to say they're recently fed. The Scolopendra polymorpha has not been fed recently. The Alternans did eat today. They look very similar, as you can see. Um, the size is almost identical. I want to say the alternance is just a tad bigger. Um, the terminal legs are almost identical as well. The main difference is in the maxillipedes um, on the head. Uh, well, not the head, I guess, a little behind the head, but that's it. Um, but yeah, this is just really odd, I thought. Um, there is zero aggression occurring. The polymorpha is a bit jumpy. It seems scared. The but that makes sense because isn't the Haitian supposed to be more venomous? Yeah, but they wouldn't know that. Oh, they wouldn't? No, I think the polymorpha just is uh, more scared of predators. Just more jumpy. Yeah, yeah that's all it is. But, yeah, there's no attacking occurring or anything. They're walking over each other. And, yeah, they're not aggressive towards me either. It's a good factor. See the similarity in coloration. They look almost exactly the same. It's crazy that they're actually not the same species. Yeah, that they're two separate species of centipede. Yeah. But, yeah, so... Uh, that is a Scolipendra polymorpha and a Scolipendra alternance.